games, um, the last games and the finals. Mm -hmm. Water is uh, the, the the weather is getting uh, darker now again. We see clouds here in uh, Berlin, but it doesn't matter. We will place uh, we will uh, spend most of the time here <laughs> uh, inside in the pool area. And this evening is the party. Then, uh, if you don't have your tickets yet, uh, get them in the office with Winne for the party. Ha! ha. There's yeah, a Nestor bag. Oh. Look, they're oh, already the started. game already started. We didn't see that. Okay, we were in the game uh, Austria against uh, Sweden female teams, and uh, Black Mermaids from uh, Sweden are in the attack. Oh, they are pretty aggressive at the moment. Yeah, it's uh, Sweden is really trying to make a point here from the beginning, and Austria is under heavy pressure on their own basket. But they fought off the first uh, attack wave. Yeah, you can, you can see the four checking. <laughs> no, um, close the door. Yes. A lot of families here uh, around in the pool area and the kids are coming in in the commentator box. So, uh, Vienna in ball possession, but the ball drops down, recovered by a Swedish player, but she's surrounded by uh, Austrian players in the middle of the pool. Austria has uh, managed to hold on to the ball and is going now. They're taking position in the corner, one in the corner, one already at the basket on the close side. And here comes Swedish player swimming into the middle of the pool looking for her teammates and there are none yet. Now they are on the second wave is coming in. So now they are on the open side and they are trying to take the goalie out of the... I see the shoulder deep yeah, in the, the basket of the goalkeeper the, from yeah. uh, the Black Mermaids. It's not a, a it's not critical so nice. situation right now but could be a call, at least a warning. Mm. So they are struggling on the surface. The Black Mermaids seem to have the control of the ball, but the referee did signalize something. We have no signal from the pool, so we can't really tell. Here it is. Ah, there it is. <laughs> so the Austrian recover the ball pretty fast and they start a counter-attack against the Black Mermaids. They lost the ball and the Black Mermaids are counter-attacking them now. I think this is the game of the Mermaids. They just have to find their rhythm they and... Um, they need to find that chance, that spot that they yeah, need. Yeah, but the, 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 the thing in the favor, the advantage is here on the... Swedish side, they will attack more, and they do right now. Thank you, Silva. <laughs> and the ball goes down uh, to a Black Mermaid player, and she tries to attack uh, from the uh, front of the basket, from the open side of the pool. Always dangerous because you can be attacked from many sides. Better to start probably from uh, the from one of the sides if you don't have a station to pass to. I can't really see what's happening at the moment. Oh, they are fighting on a cluster on the surface. But now the Black Mermaids have again the ball and he, she's trying to, to attack like in a penalty. She got Going down from above on the goalkeeper, but she doesn't, doesn't succeed. Now they have attack from the close side, pushing uh, at the Goalkeeper, this is a chaotic situation right now. Clear, the ball is on the surface. Owned by the mermaid uh, on the surface, but she's under attack. Now free. Now the mermaids are struggling with uh, Wien. And Vienna recovered the ball and uh, the Vienna player is swimming through the pool, stopped in the middle 
by a uh, Swedish player. She passed the ball to another Vienna player and she's starting to go to the close side, but she got stopped by, the, by one of the Swedish players. She makes a pass to another player. She's starting to look for a spot to, to go and try to break their defense and their goalie. But uh, you, see, you see them hesitating. The, the yeah. Austrians uh, wait for something. Yeah. Look, they tried oh, to well, this was oh, a nice, really nice good. move under the defender, but uh, the the receiver of the ball, of the pass on the close side, she uh, wasn't ready for that. Yeah, she wasn't ready for that. She didn't go in uh, that fast. But uh, nevertheless, uh, Vienna is now in the attack for some time around the basket, and uh, the more you push into the basket um, and put pressure on it, call from the referee. I think it was holding without uh, ball, yeah, free throw against free throw. Mermaid. The Mermaids have uh, surprisingly difficulties to deal with uh, Vienna. Yeah, and, and I, I don't know why the, the Vienna players are hesitating so much when they come to the, to the basket. Well, it's an experience. It's always easier to yeah. defend. And in the moment you have to take responsibility for an attack, a uh, lot of unexperienced or more unexperienced players hesitate. Right, free throw. Free throw for the Black Mermaids now. And another chance for them to put pressure on the Austrian basket. So the Swedish girls start swimming through the close side of the basket. They got stopped pretty far away still from the basket, but they are trying to, to make this dynamic, pass the ball a lot of times, confuse the defense, and now they are attacking from the open side. I think she was trying to pass it to the close side of the basket. But yeah, she but she was blocked. It. She was yeah. blocked, and we have a cluster going on to the service above the the uh, basket of uh, Austria. And Austria is defending pretty uh, self-confident here, um, even though they, they look less confident when they attack. Their uh, defense is very well. Whoa! The ball was loose and. Uh, the Swedish player did see it uh, where it was going to, and it's in the hand of a uh, Austrian player, but she couldn't break free. So the Swedish the Swedish girls are attacking now. They lost the ball ag again, and now the Vienna players are trying to counter-attack, but they got instantly blocked by the Swedish. They managed to get out of it, oh, but they lost the ball in the middle. There was in the, uh, in the counter-attack, two of them swimming forward, and the third ball carrier just lost the ball uh, without even the uh, interaction uh, with um, a Swedish player. And that's a really uh, given chance for Sweden to attack the basket, but nothing happened here. Sweden still in ball control <coughs> around the area. They are taking their sweet time to yeah, attack. Sweden them. takes its sweet time. <laughs> <laughs> so an attack here. And this is, uh, was the, cha the, the situation last time we had this uh, uh, chaotic situation uh, uh, above the basket. And this sometimes creates the chance to open up a gap. Call from the referee holding without balls, free throw against uh, Vienna. Vienna. Okay, so the Swedish player lost the ball on the middle before they can start the attack. They are struggling now with the Vienna players. Vienna has possession of the ball. She's trying to pass it to start a counter attack as fast as they can. We're still in the middle of the pool and uh, 
And now uh, um, Black M the, the, the Austrian girls broke through and... Half time? Half time. Half time. Wow. Just didn't see what was happening. It's a really even match. Well, I think uh, um, Black Mermaids should be the superior team in this match, <coughs> but they don't manage to... They don't manage to uh, use their advantage and uh, the defense of uh, Austria is quite well organized and mm. uh, as, as also we see the insecurities yes, not okay. we see insecurities <coughs> in the uh, in, in the their Austrian attacking team. in the in the attacking of the Austrian team yeah. uh, there is really very well self confident um, yeah, you can see because when they defending. reach the basket, they they start thinking how can how should they attack? Yeah, they what should, should I do? Go for it. Yeah, and uh, the let's say that's that's still quite a high level underwater rugby, mm. um, and then in, in, in the speed they come in, if you start thinking, it's over. Yeah, like I said yesterday, muscle memory. <laughs> that's yeah. all we need, muscle memory. Yeah, you just and at that moment, you just need to go in and do all of you can yeah underwater rugby players don't need a brain you just need muscle memory <laughs> and water and water <laughs> so end of the first half my bet is still uh, on Copenhagen on uh, the mermaids but uh, Austrian is really opening for surprise I can't really say. Uh, Black Mermaids are playing really good, but they're struggling to go past through the Austrian defense. True. I can't really tell who's going to win, or maybe they are going to go to penalties. What do you think? No, no, no. I think Last it's, one it, it will be in favor of Last uh, one the Mermaids. I'm, I'm quite sure. And they uh, will talk now yep. at that point. Uh, they have to be more aggressive on the Austrian uh, basket and go in and uh, finalize their attacks. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's see. I'm curious. The only chance I see for Austria in this case if uh, the mermaids make a big mistake, um, but I don't see that happening. They're, ex too, they're too experienced for this. And here we go, second half, 10 minutes left. You're watching Champions Cup 2017 here in Berlin. It's the biggest underwater rugby game in the world. We have 23 uh, teams from 14 nations, uh, 40 men teams and nine women teams. And uh, you're watching day three and we are closing in on the finals. And this is the game of uh, Vienna from Austria in blue against uh, Black Mermaids in uh, white from Sweden. So as we can see here, the Black Mermaids are in possession of the ball. They are trying to pass through the Austrian players and are approaching the basket now. They are trying to go from up there. Whoa, that was a really nice pass from up to the open side. But sadly didn't work. Now the Black Mermaids almost lost the ball and they are trying to confuse the, the Austrian defense. But thi this looks more decisive now than the, yeah. the, the, the attacks in the first half. They have to score and they are... Oh, the oh, Superior since she didn't oh. see the pass coming. Yeah. Wow, the, the player just went over the basket and uh, passed through the player waiting on the open side. But the player on the open yeah. side didn't see the, uh, the pass ball first. Ball and the ball uh, passed yeah. right in front of her face. And she crept in the last uh, second because the goal was empty and she pushed it in. So it was really in the last moment. And we see a 1-0 lead for the Black Mermaids. That was actually a huge mistake from the Austrian. Yeah. And it was an easy goal, an easy yeah. catch for the Mermaids. So, let's see what Austria does, how they react in the next eight minutes uh, to the goal they caught. 
Uh, eight minutes is uh, still a long time in underwater rugby, and they will have uh, sure have a chance to equalize um, if they can uh, keep on pushing on the Swedish basket like, like they do now. And we see an attack from the open side. So now she's pushing. That's she's that's pushing quite him. good. There was no defense there. But it's the, 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 the you see the insecurities of the Austrian uh, the women in the moment they attack. There is a lot of confusion when they try to attack. They can't coordinate all at the same time. It looks a little bit like the r it's this responsibility thing. Nobody wants to be responsible yeah. for not doing the score. But uh, since nobody wants to re be responsible, nobody does it and tries it. Yeah. That's the only way you learn. Play an arrow. Black Memorates are in ball possession, coming in from the close side, over the basket, over the goalkeeper, uh, tackled by the offense of uh, Austria, pulling out of uh, the defense zone around the basket and going back in. But uh, the Swedish player right now carrying the ball is all alone. She got no station to play the ball to. And Sweden still in ball possession. But they take the time. Again, the uh, same situation as in the games before. Mm -hmm. The time is working yeah. for uh, Sweden right here. Yeah, and if they are in ball control, um, they just can wait. Like she does here, you see it on the close side. But that was a that not was very clever point. pass into almost into the hands of an Austrian player. And uh, this is the situation. The Mermaids have to prevent. Yeah, but you can see that the Mermaids are leaving the defense and then starting to attack more because they are more. They have disadvantage at the moment. They have disadvantage at the moment and they want to try and use it and insecure to the Austrian players. Yes, yeah, that's true. But uh, they can wait. They can wait for this. Uh, for this moment around the basket it's like uh, testing testing biting mm -hmm. testing testing biting and uh, you wear the, the the defense down if you do this for a longer time oh that's quite a, a chance the uh, defense uh, lying under the basket uh, didn't move in uh, the way of the attacker from the close side from the corner that was risky so now they're struggling in the middle of the swimming pool. Austrian ball possession trying to get into the half of uh, Black Mermaids. Now we have two Black Mermaids players going in and uh, the one carrying the ball was quite undisturbed until she touched uh, the goalkeeper. So the offense uh, was not working well here, shouldn't be possible. And we're now on the surface in a cluster. Uh, Mermaids and uh, Vienna players fighting for the ball. I think the the Swedish girls are having a couple of communication problems because you can see sometimes how they try to to make noise or something like that to yeah, make them yeah, notice yeah. themselves. I saw that before they have a little bit of a uh, sync problem with each other, but now we have a counter attack to the basket off and sweat. Yeah, that was uh, very nice. There was one player uh, on the back of the goalkeeper and the other player was on the head of the goalkeeper and. Um, the goalkeeper didn't know where the ball was and it came over the head. Very wise, nice executed timeout yeah. from uh, white, from uh, from blue, I think, from the uh, Vienna. And the Mermaids are in the lead of 0 two, two. 2. I think this game is decided. Uh, the Mermaids. Uh, as I predicted. Yeah, the the Austrian team is a little too unexperienced, I think. And they show that that they are too insecure at the moment that they want to score, sadly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even if they counter-attacked and uh, they reach the, um, the basket Swedish basket. They, they wait a lot. Yeah.
but it's not over until it's over and there's still uh, four minutes left but I don't see them making that big of a mistake uh, to give Austria a chance yeah, two to, to score yeah is the, the two is almost not in the match combination we see in here yeah. okay still uh, back in the game and we're on the surface Almost both teams are on the surface, and black mates are coming down from the surface in the direction of uh, the uh, Austrian goal. The Austrian team is trying to swarm the black mermaid players. You can see that because they are doing more presence underwater now. I think they are trying to overwhelm. The yeah, the, the what they do, what we can see, they do right now. They have to uh, get. Uh, farther away from the basket, open up the basket and put more uh, players outside in front of the basket mm -hmm. to have more pressure there, to have more push there in direction of the mermaid uh, basket, but it's really difficult for them, I guess. Yeah. So now we can see Oster trying to attack the Swedish basket. She's trying to pull the goalie out of the basket. She succeeded at it, but she lost the position to score. So now we can see one of the Vienna players trying to steal the basket. And sadly they lost the ball and the Black Merriman started a counter-attack. So the Vienna... <gasps> The Vienna girls and the Black Mermaids are struggling in the middle. There was a cluster and you can see at the moment the ball. The Black Mermaids have the ball at the moment and they are counter-attacking. The Austrian team is leaving them quite are leaving them quite alone, so they have their time to think what their next move is going to be. So we were uh, doing the Underwater Rugby Academy with uh, Julia Braunek, who is playing for the Austrian team. And uh, she says that the team is still growing and they have players from Kratz and uh, Wien in this team. And um, it's, it's good for them. It's always an experience for the team, but they see the insecurities they have in a certain points, especially in attacking. And now we have the Mermaids coming in with three players under the basket of Austria. And I guess they'll, we will see a goal here, oh, yes. Yeah. That was uh, almost predictable. Yeah, they've got the three players on the three key positions, so there was no way they could have missed that. Yeah. Okay, one minute 15 left, um, and it's a 3 0 uh, solid uh, lead for the Mermaids, and uh, they can really. Uh, chill down now and uh, Austria have to go forward they do they really try to step up here and they can open up their uh, basket because if uh, uh, the mermaids win 5-0 uh, 10-0 it doesn't matter but uh, what Austria needs right now what they try to do from the open side here and they put pressure on the basket off the mermaids that could be a chance for Austria to score here but no they are tackled away yeah Looked quite good, uh, could have been uh, a chance and uh, like I said before, it's always a better feeling to finish a game that you lose at least with one score. A zero is always a... A little bit depressing. Yeah, a little bit depressing, uh, that's true. So now they are coming from the, op from the close so side. So three Austrian players here and one trying to swim over uh, the basket to pass to her teammate. But, the, but she's moving too slow. You have, if you move over the basket, you have to be really fast. Otherwise, you will be tackled by the four uh, checker of the opponent team. Happened in this case and she lost the ball. Or you're going to be stuck with the goalie. Or you're going to be stuck. When the goalie is good, uh, you will be stuck with uh, her in this case. So that's it. Congratulations to uh, Black Mermaids. Uh, they did win. And uh, thanks very much uh, for uh, Mati. Lorena is here uh, in the monkey box, in our commentator monkey box. And uh, thanks a lot to Mati, Matthias Lara. Uh, he was uh, doing the comments with me while uh, Lorena, uh, well, Lorena was, was uh, having breakfast. Try, 